Fallout 84, a new game that just hit the streets, just had its global launch for iOS, Android, and PC. Uh, it's a cool game. It's a mixture of Apex, Fortnite, Valorant, Rogue. If you've played or you've seen gameplay, you've seen one of your favorite streamers playing it, you understand why I said that. It's a mixture of like all these different damn games. It's a it's hella fun. I've been having fun with it. Um, I'm damn near close to the max rank. I'm ranked ace right now. The max rank is legend. That's just top 300 equivalent to masters on apex and so on and so forth. Not here to talk about the game though. You want to see gameplay pull up to the Twitch. We had to talk about controller support. Controller support is not officially supported on this game yet, but y'all know me. Y'all know I ride for roller game when I stand 10 toes. I'm going to show you how to make it work. Okay. So y'all know the drill. We're going to go on the steam and we're going to make sure all the all the essentials are set you know what i'm saying so go down to settings go up there go to hit the steam button hit the settings come down to hit this tab right here controller boom hit general controller settings you want to make sure the playstation configuration button is checked make sure the xbox configuration button is checked these are the only these are the most important two buttons nothing else matter it don't matter what controller you're using as you can see my controller is already plugged in because i've been playing the game before making this video but you're probably not gonna have your controller plugged in you won't you plug it in just to make sure it detects it but these are the most two important. It don't matter what PlayStation, PlayStation controller you're using. It don't matter what Xbox controller you're using. Just make sure these are checked. Y'all be asking just some of the dumbest questions. Just make sure these two is checked. These are the only two that need to be checked. Nothing else matters. Don't go in the comments saying, well, what if this is checked? They don't, just check these two, man. Damn. Anyway, so once that's checked, hit OK. You want to come down to far light. You can right click it. And you want to go to properties. Boom. Or if you don't know want to do it that way, you can hit the little cog right here go to properties whatever however you want to do it you come down here to control you already know hit the drop down box it's probably going to look like this change it to steam input that's how you want to do it right yes i'm still awake enable steam input and close that this is when you plug your controller in children plug the controller in controller layout a pop up if you have the new set of steam this is how it's going to look boom hit that this is what you're going to be greeted with I'll have the link to, to how I have my controller set up in the comments pinned somewhere, but I'll show you how it looks too. So this is what you're going to see. It's not going to work. There's no official controller support. This template is only available or it only works for games that have imported or native roller support. So what you want to do is hit that. This is my, this is what I'm going to have in the comments. This is my template, but this is what you're going to see over here. You want to hit the keyboard and mouse. Okay. You hit keyboard and mouse, you want to apply that layout. Then, once you hit keyboard and mouse, you want to edit the layout and just rebond everything. Whatever you want, whatever you want your end game controls to be, this is what you rebond it. You can hit double bonds. Y'all know how to remap y'all stuff from the tap shape videos that I've seen. So, you, you should know how to do this by now. All right. So, once you do that, I want to I want to make something very clear. So once you start rebounding and all that, reconfiguring and make sure your buttons are set up how you want it in game. I'll make sure when you go down the joystick. In this drop down box, turn a regular joystick to a joystick mouse. I cannot stress this enough. If you keep it on a regular joystick, it's going to feel real disgusting in game. Your aim is not going to be one to one. It's going to feel real clunky. Change this to joystick mouse. And then what you go, you can either go change the setting here. For the mouse sensitivity, leave all of this default. Don't touch none of this. Don't touch a single thing in here. Unless you know what you're doing, don't touch it. You can either change the mouse sensitivity in here or you could come back and change it in the beginning. All right. So that's how you do that. Now I'm going to show you what I play on. So if you go to my layout, click it. This is what I play on. This is how my layout looks. All right. So in the game, so if you're if we're going to plot layout, so I play on 220% right joystick sensitivity with default end game settings. So if you want your settings like mine, make sure all your sensitivities in game are on default. Come in steam, change your right joystick to 220. Then, then come back to this. So edit layout. This is how I have mine's bound. I'm going to run through everything. So X is my, my jump button circle is my crouch. You know, the usual. Um, I have square double bound. Um, so for Xbox turns for all my Xbox players, this would be a your jump button to be a your circle would be B, your square would be X, your triangle would be Y, right? Cool. 
so i have my square or my x button if you're on xbox double bow so f key that's just to loot while i'm in the limit the inventory or if i want to just hurry up and spam loot i can just spam it and then if i long press it hold it for a little bit um it'll reload right i recommend coming in here and maybe playing with the long press time i got it set to 300 a little less than default um it's just a little bit quicker because if i'm on default you got to hold it for a nice little while 300 is a nice little sweet spot sweet spot you could put it down to 250 but then it's going to interfere with your um regular press because it's just i think it's just too quick so put it to 300 that's a good little sweet spot don't worry about what this says though it says flashlight you could you could just go in here and, and rename the group um switch weapons or name a weapon swap flash reload it doesn't matter what that says what matters is the actual action so boom you go in here go to mouse you can go scroll wheel down or scroll wheel up it does not matter that's just the scroll wheel is how you switch weapons without using the num the numbers right boom make sure to go to settings make sure that's a regular press then to add a second command you want to hit that weapon cock again add an extra command this will pop up click the key go to the keyboard x then you want to hold it you want to hit that the weapon the cog wheel on the second command hit this make it a long press and then that's how that works then you want to go in like i said before settings of the long press make it 300 all right l1 is the q r1 is the e that's self-explanatory i'm pretty sure if you play the game you know what the q every q and every e is different in game uh that's what i have it on um st my start button my start button is my map i have that double bond start button is the map and then if i hold it it goes to the to the end game settings or the end game menu settings my select button or the share button on the playstation controllers is the map just like apex right d-pad d-pad's very simple this is how i have my d-pad set up the z key is the alt on pc i have that on up on the d-pad then i have my this we're gonna just use apex terminology for this okay the smaller the smaller body armor hills we're gonna call themselves and then we're gonna call the big armor hills bats just for layman's terms for all fps shooters so left on the d-pad is for the cells the smaller body armor hills down is for the syringes or the med kits in the game and then right on my d-pad is for the big bats or the the bigger armor hills like i said we're just using apex terms just because right left trigger same thing this this doesn't matter just make sure it's a soft make sure you put it on soft pull so that way the second you pull down on the triggers it activates joystick this is where it gets a little tricky from what i told you when you first enter it's gonna have it's gonna say just regular joystick you want to hit this drop down box make it a joystick mouse you can either you can do it here or like i said you can do it in the beginning or just go into this weapon cog wheel change it to 220 that's where i have it then right stick click is middle mouse click and that's just how i ping all right keep all this the same and just make sure this is your sprint key if you decide to um if you, you if you don't use auto sprint in the game i would make this shift key i actually might change this since i do use auto sprint i might change this to something else i might change this to my alt i'm thinking about it um i have much for playstation controls we have a touchpad so i have a little bit more accessibility than y'all do on xbox so i split my trackpad so my um v v is how you uh enhance enhance your armor that's on the right touchpad so i click the right side of my touchpad it activates the enhance when i have enough shield points to do so and c c key is the specific ability for whatever hero i'm using right so the, so don't get it confused with these the q and e's is just the q is how you dash left and right the e is how you vertically dash don't get that confused with the with the c and v all right 
and that's pretty much it man so we go into the game once you got that all set up just go into the fucking game i'll just go take us to can we take can we go to training limited training grounds i got the control overlay on the side just so y'all can see it make sure i'm not bullshitting y'all know how i like to give it up uh like to eat a frank like i said we are making this video live currently you probably not gonna hear the game audio that's fine you don't need to hear it just need to look at the control overlay um and at whatever whatever i'm doing on screen as you can see it lines up with what the character does you see you see a button turn white that's what i'm pressing so jumping with x crouching with circle triangle is how i pick up my weapon a hover bike what the hell anyway oh this is all the power-ups all right we're not, we not worried about that so like i said L1 is the Q, R1 is the E, Q is how you side dash, E is how you vertical dash. Where are the guns, man? Jesus. All right, so like I said, start is inventory. If I tap it, if I hold start, it brings up this menu, hold it again, it gets it away. Hold triangle with holsters, tap it, I circle through all my weapons, all right? That's how I shoot, hold square, reload. All that other shit. Like, shut up, nigga. Pissing me off. But yeah, so as you can see, everything's corresponding. I wanted to pop my C, my specific ability. I hit the left touchpad. He throws it. Um, I pick up enough enhanced points. They're going to refresh. They're going to refresh. It's going, this, might this might take a little minute. Hold on. Let me, let me get a green shield real quick. Boom. So y'all see I can enhance, right? So I hit right. It's going the whole touchpad itself is gonna light up because in the overlay it doesn't split it. So you're gonna see me the whole touchpad light up, but I'm pressing the right side. So if I press the right side of this pad, boom. Enhance. That's pretty much it. You know what I'm saying? So y'all could y'all could really do whatever y'all want with y'all controller bonds. I'll have my controller scene in the comments or in the section somewhere. Uh but yeah, that's how I do it. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let y'all enjoy the game. Go download it. Like I said, it's free on iOS, Android, and Steam. There is crossplay, but mobile players can turn a crossplay off if you don't want to deal with us PC demons because we are in these lobbies going stupid. Uh, but yeah, Farlight84, I'm loving the game so far. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'll see y'all in the next.